is black and white TV and the IR modes, and there's no visible signs of propulsion. It's just sitting in space at 20,000 feet. In, in your career, have you ever seen a propulsion system that creates no thermal exhaust? No. The Redfin app lets you know when a home you'll love hits the market. Can you describe how the aircraft maneuvered? Uh, abruptly, uh, very determinate. It knew exactly what it was doing. It was aware of our presence and it had acceleration rates. I mean, it went from zero to matching our speed in no time at all. Now, if the fastest plane on earth was trying to do these maneuvers that you saw, would it be capable of doing that? No, not even close. And just to confirm, this object had no wings, correct? No wings. Now, was the aircraft that you were flying, was it armed? No, never felt threatened at all. If, if the aircraft was armed, do you believe that your aircraft or any aircraft in possession of the United States could have shot the Tic Tac down? I'd say no, just on the performance, it would just left. In a, in a split second. It looks like that we have a problem here that needs further investigation. <laughs> yes. Uh, in your belief, is this, this flying Tic Tac, I mean, is, this, is it capable of being the product of any other nation on the earth? No, I actually I said, like I said earlier, I think it defies current material science and the ability to develop that much propulsion and I know there's been some physicists have done calculations, which is beyond anything that we have. Well, either the United States has an adversary here in this world that we don't know, or we really have some serious investigations to do. I, I really appreciate you being here. Um, is there anything else about the November 14th, 2000? Shalom, Shalom. Well, Babylon the Great, you do have an adversary, and his name is Yahweh Shai. All right, and he's coming to enter into the house of the thief, Zechariah 5, chapter 5. And um, defile the material of science was the words of this retired uh, naval, air force, general, corporate, whatever, you know, rank he is. And um, this is a house committee hearing on the chariots of Yahweh Shem Shai and now it's no longer a secret you know you eat a mice are in trouble you know these are the vehicles of the fourth dimension the spiritual realm these are our galactic brothers you know, the angels of the Lord that operate these vehicles that have been spoken about throughout history and through biblical scriptures and prophecy. And now you are afraid. Get ready for war. Get ready to be utterly annihilated to the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Shai. And Lord willing, Yahweh right to side the most I have mercy on us and prepare ourselves to enter into the kingdom of heaven where dwell of righteousness, where our Lord Yahweh Shai will be king of kings and the elect in Israel as we rule in righteousness. Your world is ended, Esau, and you are in trouble. Shalom.